Welcome back. Here's a spooky story for you on this Halloween. A Hillsborough house with a terrifying tale behind it is giving a couple and movie fans a thrill. WNCN's Justin Quisenberry takes us there. Every now and then I come down the driveway, you know, it kind of sends a, a chill up my spine when, you know, when the sun hits it just right or whatever. Kenny Caperton is describing his own house, the Myers house. This is home, my crazy home. He designed it to be a replica of the actual Myers house from the 1978 movie Halloween. On Halloween night, we would go trick-or-treating and then come home and watch Halloween on cable television. And uh, so it just really resonates with me, like being a horror fan. And also it, it holds like a, a, you know, a lot of memories for me, good, really good memories. So in 2008, he got the idea to build the Myers house from scratch. We never even had owned a house before. To get it right, he and his wife Emily used images from the movie, photos he took of the real house in California, and help from a woman who worked in that house. I would send them list and list of measurements every week, and her and her two sons, they went out and they measured the entire house for me. Caperton had to modify the layout of the 1800s house to include modern amenities such as bathrooms. But in the end, it looked like the real horror film location, maybe even a little too real. So the first two weeks, it was really hard um, to get comfortable in the house. I was like, we have to live here now. This is a great idea. We have to live in this house now. Seven years later, it is now home for Caperton and a destination for fans of the film. And a lot of people have um, really embraced the house. Fans come from other states to experience it. And it just kind of spreads like wildfire. Horror fans are, are really crazy, dedicated fans. I mean, obviously. In Hillsboro, Justin Quisenberry. WNCN News. That looks like that'd be a pretty good.